Joan Baez finds tranquility in her golden years. After six decades of traveling the world and raising her clear soprano voice in both song and protest, Joan Baez embarked on her final tour in 2018. She returned to a tranquil retreat near San Francisco, a slice of paradise that she now calls home. Apart from her musical endeavors, Baez has been an artist since childhood, creating drawings and writing in reverse. Recently, she compiled her artwork into a book titled, Am I Pretty When I Fly? She has also ventured into painting portraits. In a new documentary set to premiere nationwide next week, titled, Joan Baez I Am a Noise, she reflects on her life journey. Initially, the idea was to document her last tour, but Baez opted to provide an honest legacy by opening her storage unit to the film's directors. The storage unit contained treasures from her past, including home movies, letters, and drawings, many of which she had never seen before. Walking into that storage unit, captured in the film, was a truly revealing moment for her. Baez's public life is well documented, encompassing 40 studio and live albums, numerous music accolades, and a legacy of activism that includes performances at the 1963 March on Washington. When asked if she was hopeful during those times, she responded, I was smart then, emphasizing her awareness that the battle for change would be a long and persistent one. In the 1960s, she toured alongside fellow activist and musician Bob Dylan. Their love story ended with heartbreak, as Baez explained, it was probably the deepest I've ever felt for somebody. A little clue to that is, I think, when somebody walks away from you, you feel a lot more than if you walk away from them. And I got walked away from in a big way, and it was hard to get over. In 1967, Baez was arrested for protesting at military induction centers in Oakland, California. Her subsequent marriage to journalist and anti-Vietnam War activist David Harris faced immediate challenges, including his imprisonment shortly after their marriage. Baez's aspiration to be a perfect wife and mother clashed with the reality of their situation. During the interview, chickens approached her doorstep, highlighting her preference for crowds over one-on-one -on -one interactions. She admitted, the one-on-one -on -one was too difficult. The one-on-2000? Not such a problem. After an amicable divorce from David Harris in 1973, Baez has remained contentedly single, avoiding the exhaustion of searching for a suitable partner. Her bond with her son, Gabriel, remains strong, though her relationship with her own parents was complex, often affecting her mental well-being. In the documentary, Baez opens up about her painful past, revealing that she and her sister, Mimi, came to believe that their father had been sexually inappropriate with them during their childhood. It was a secret that she couldn't recall until she turned 50, and her parents consistently denied it. Baez believes that sharing such painful experiences can aid healing and help others. At 82, Joan Baez has discovered a new, lower vocal range that brings her happiness. She remains active, engaging in charitable work, such as a trip to Ukraine with a children's non-profit in June. Despite a lifetime on the road and in the thick of activism, she now enjoys a serenity she had never known. When asked if she is at peace, she replied, I would say, yeah. I mean, I'm able to conduct myself in a certain way that I feel at peace with a lot of things I wouldn't have dreamed. I finally realized I don't have to solve everybody's problems, and make world peace, and do a concert all at once, you know? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.